Here comes the mad turkey. Hey, guys, check it out. We're gonna have a, a I guess, an, a very early Thanksgiving. Very early Thanksgiving. Okay, he's gonna attack maybe the visitors. Yeah! <laughs> I'd have to take care of it myself. They took care of it for me. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to RimWorld Zombie Apocalypse Mod. I'm your host, the bird, known as Falcon. I hope you guys are having a good one here today. Um, off camera, I did a little bit of changes based on your suggestions. One of them was very crucial, by the way, which I missed. I'm not surprised that I missed it. But people told me in the comments, Falcon, this area right here, it's roofed over. If you wanted to grow in, as you can see right now, it's actually, you can see the, the changes right now. This right here is small, while the area out here is actually a bit bigger. That is because this area right here was actually covered up by roof area. So you guys told me about that. I went ahead and I changed it, so no big problem there. The one thing I can't figure out is how to get the roof out of the the top of the geyser. No matter what, I don't even have I don't even have a choice to do it myself manually, which is so weird. And as I mentioned, I told you guys I have done the order for that already, the zone area if I'm right. Uh, expand no roof area. See, it's there, but I can't seem to like you know mess around with it unless I have to do even further. So what if we did? I don't know. Uh, no roof area through here. Maybe then it'll work. I don't know. I don't know. We'll fucking do it this way. There you go. See? Maybe it works then. I don't know. But we'll see if it works out or not. Anyway, um, the other thing I wanted to find out was about these crates. I have no idea. It says not installed. Why do I have ins to install it? What the hell? What happens if I install it or not? I can deconstruct it? Oh. Well, that's even better. Okay. Sure. Deconstruct it. Apparently, I'll reclaim part of the resources, whatever they might be. I don't know, we'll keep an eye on and see what's happening over here. Oh, and the other thing I did, by the way, based on your suggestions, was I went over to uh, Sign. Yeah. And I edited every single outfit so that they don't, they don't wear stuff under 50%, because if you wear clothing under 50% health, it makes, um, give them that whole low, tattered apparel nonsense, which is a really silly mental effect you could easily manage. So, again, thanks a lot for that. I took care of that as well. Um, other comments that you guys have been telling me about was if I want to learn the multi-analyzer thing. Oh, Master Hero's doing it right now. But the other thing was, like, if I want to do the multi-analyzer thing for the research, what did that give us? 75 silver, I think? Let's keep an eye on this one. Um, if I want to do the other thing for the multi-analyzer, I need to get a different workbench. So apparently this one here is not enough. And this one gave us components and wood. Okay, so it's just a random grab bag of items. I get you. Minor breaker is going to be Fred Durst. Is that because you're butchering stuff again or what? Hey, look, you got little roses next to you, Fred. Oh, how about that? It's no longer all about the nookie for Fred. And we have made some room in our little area here because he keeps cooking meals, so that's fine. Speaking of which, um... You have four? Is that all we have for lavish meals? Just four? Really? It takes you that long to cook them? We have seven simple meals. I have changed the bills here, have I not? Or maybe I didn't- I never changed the bills. That could be a possibility. No, cook lavish meals. I want you to have, um, 15. That's gonna be our goal every single time. So I guess he's just getting to them. I do want them to focus on these meals first, so how about we forbid the lavish meals into the simple meals get rid of, and then we just go back to lavish straight up. So we'll do that here for now. Um, let's see, we also have a Devil's Fan shirt over here, which I should have somebody wear. Now, I do believe this is not as good as the, um, Sin Clot or whatever the hell the, the starters begin with, but my other people, my new people, should be able to benefit from that. So let's see if we have gear. Muffalo Leather. So, for instance, Nephi could definitely benefit from Devil Strand. So, I think I will force her to wear that over the Muffalo Leather thing. I also want to start making some more shirts and maybe coats for the future. Maybe a couple of hats as well. Um, but let's see here. This is the high-tech research table. So, you guys told me I can't research the other one because I'm missing a different table. But, to my understanding here, that's the highest one, right? High-tech research bench, that's the one. This is a simple one. This is the high-tech one. Am I missing, like, an addition to that or what? Sculptor? Butcher? No, no, I'm not seeing it. Um, we should probably get some of these up and running here pretty soon as well. Yeah, but yeah, let's go with... No, no. You here. Now, don't I have the, the old-school table still? Field stove. I believe we could probably cook faster if I actually upgrade, correct? So if I go over to electric stove... For preparing. This doesn't say anything about faster cooking. Well, I mean, we have a lot of wood, so I don't think we really do need it unless... Can you guys let me know if you actually cook faster with the electric stove over the fuel stove? I don't think you should be able to. I don't see that a benefit much in that. So I think I should just stick to this one because wood's very much a plenty. So let me know if there's any sort of speed upgrade with that one. 
And let's see, Field Smitty's gonna be down here, and then we just need the Stonecutter's Table, and we could probably place this bad boy, like, somewhere over here. And you know what? To give this guy, or these guys working over here, a better look, better feel, better, more comfy spot, we'll do another potted plant right over here. And maybe even another light. Because we have a light over here, but there you go. That'll shine everything over here pretty well. Okay, cool. And Snaffy has the Devil's Strand shirt now. Very cool. Very minor breaker is Fred Durst and Masahiro. Masahiro, you better not go into your little fucking fire stud, twisted fire stud of bullshit again, all right? You're not Prodigy. You are not Prodigy, my friend. Okay. Oh, yeah, one of the things we do need is steel, right? Well, actually, we had them haul steel from the other areas that we could find, but... Um... I guess they're still in the process of hauling it. We did find a lot of steel, though, but... Soon enough, we have to break down some shelves in the cars as well, and also the... Crashed airplanes that we talked about. We're at 670. You know, we have some good amount of steel here right now, so that's okay. Plus, my bear's over here picking up some more of the steel out and about. My fucking <laughs> raccoon. I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna basically end up selling this raccoon like I did with the rat. I want to get a monkey again, even though the monkey's very weak. I want an elephant. I'm very heartbroken about the elephant not coming through for us, man. I'm still upset that it got up before I could heal it completely so we could tame it. It really sucks, but hey. What can you do? Oh yeah, and the other thing I was also told, Falcon, set up some rocks over here so that when the zombies come in through here or whatever comes in through here, you can slow them down and shoot them easier that way. I should do that over here and here as well because this will be my other turret area as well. So, let's see, let's start doing a bit of a, well, let's have you guys run in the background here. Let's do a zone area for dumping stockpile. And I guess there's no reason why we shouldn't have it, like, through here, right? There's gonna be a lot of stones to haul, but I think it could be very useful in the future. So let's come over here and we'll do storage for... Uh, clear everything. All I want over here is gonna be, like, chunks of slag and stuff like that. So stone chunks. I think that's all we really do need here. And this will be... Uh... Critical? Sure, why not? And then what we'll do, we'll come over here and we will erase this area down here. Delete zone. So you are gone. And I'm gonna have them start hauling these over to there. Okay, very cool. Is Rose doing it already or what? Where, where are you going, Rose? Oh, she's hauling already. Great. Good start. Um, I still want to expand the size of our fridge, by the way. And in order to do that, I'm gonna need... let's see... We should use some of the limestone blocks if we have them, because, as I mentioned, steel is going to be kind of low, especially for all the turrets we're building. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to expand maybe out to here. Right? So... I'm going to expand, like, all of this here. So how about we do... I'm going to probably have to break this down more than likely. Unless we do... this... then this, right? And then we could, uh, I guess, mine through here. Right. We'll do a deconstructor this one. We're not going to break this down until this is completely sealed up, obviously. Electric smelting is done. Cool. Research screen. Uh, let's see. Let's start working on... Research prerequisites, electricity, and smitting. I guess we'll start working on machining. I think we have electricity and smitting, right? I'd be surprised if we didn't. Let's keep an eye on Sneffy. Let's see what she does. Sneffy. Oh, god damn it. Stop picking up the good meals, guys. I want you to finish up the simple meals first. I want to get those rid of here. They're just taking up a valuable spot here in the future for me. I gotta keep an eye on Fred. Fred's the one over here putting those meals down. Alrighty. Let's um, fast forward here again. Masahiro is deconstructing stuff over there. There goes Rose. Keep an eye on Fred. He's the guy I need to like, forbid those meals from. Okay, cool. He's putting them in the stock with the forbidden ones. Perfect. That's what's up, friend. All right, everybody back to sleep. How are we looking over here? All right, this is coming up pretty good. I would have preferred you guys build the turrets before you started hauling the rocks because... Oh, you know what? We're we're out of um, steel yet again. Yeah, that's probably the reason why they stopped doing that. Okay. Well, if that's the case, we have to go find some steel. It is time for us to... What the hell is this? Break down steel, improvise turret? Oh, come on! Well, we have people set up for repair, so it should be taken care of at some point. Need warm clothes. At least one of your colonists will lack warm clothes when the cold season comes. The outdoor temperature is going to reach 38 Fahrenheit. Lady Gaga. Yeah, she's a very, um, you know, she, she has the problems with the cold here at all times. How warm is it indoors? 42. Uh-oh. Oh, man, it's actually quite cold inside. 
Even though I set up the heaters over here, too. Oh, wow. Target temperature 78. It's not doing much of what I'm looking for it to do now, isn't it? Look at our batteries going down. That could be because of the... Man. Our power supply with all these turrets over here. I need to really install those power switches pretty soon. The thing is, I don't know how they fucking work. I never used them once in my life before. But it seems like we have to, I have to learn really soon because um, our power is draining quite fast over here. Okay. Well, that's the case. If that's neat, maybe you should put up some winter, uh, some of the wind turbines as well. Oh boy, is there any other geysers out here other than the one inside of that location? Where's there's the geyser down here? It's not too far from our base. It doesn't seem. Can we do the the geyser just yet, or do I have to research it first? I gotta research it first. I can do the wind turbines for now though. How does the fucking power switch work? Okay, this is something I gotta learn some one way or the other, right? Like, uh, how do you... How the fuck do you work? There's no connections to it. I'm gonna place this right here for now. Just for experimental purposes. I know I could be doing it incorrectly right now, but I need to figure out how this works. And right now, I have no idea how the power switch actually works on the overall design of the thing here, so... We'll see how that plays out. It is really cold inside. So they're gonna have that little cold debuff bullshit happening again. Probably set up a couple of new batteries, too. Okay, we need power. We absolutely need power. So how about... Oh, Sneffy's actually researching what I had to research, which is fine. But you know what, Sneffy's? Let me change my mind here. Oh, the multi-analyzer is here now. Huh. Did I really miss it the first time around, or am I wrong about this? I don't know what happened here. But where is the... The geyser one? That's gonna be which one? Hydroponics, tube television, moisture pump, machining... Geothermal power. There we go. Requires the high-tech research bench, which we do have. It's high -se Okay, we do have it. Um, let's go to research. We need the the geothermal bed first. I'm gonna, or the geothermal bed. <laughs> A geothermal bed! Wow, that would be quite impressive. i got to be honest with you there. Okay, so work on that one here. Okay, this power switch has to be built at some point. Minor break risk. Sneffy. Consuming simple meal. Good, yeah. Finish those simple meals first. There you go. There you damn well go. Fred, you keep making the lavish ones. We're down only one now. Perfect. Don't make any more simple meals, Fred. There we go. Last one's done. So now we could go ahead and allow these again. Cool. Doesn't seem like Fred makes these fast enough, does he? Maybe he's traveling from one area to the other one too fast. Maybe I should just like drop it down to the second level food as opposed to the third one. I mean, I'm going with the third one just for the extra boost in terms of like morale, but... That might not be the right choice here right now. Alright, so all those turrets are online. Power's filled up. It seems like the power only goes down during nighttime, so... It does seem like it's actually strong enough, our setup, to keep these online when it's daytime. At nighttime, it does start dropping, but it never actually completely goes out completely, so we might actually be good with the power. That being said, here's that power switch that's built. Let's find out how this works out, then. Um, power is on. So what if I designate toggle power off? I want to see what this turns off. Does it turn everything off? It works exactly as I thought it would. It turns off everything here, not over here. So that's exactly what I was looking for. Okay. So this is perfect. This is exactly what I was hoping it would work out. So this turns off everything in here now. So now we could keep these bad boys offline. And then when we get raided, we turn it on and we run. Of course, we have to worry about, can we get that shit turned on in time? Oh, good God almighty, Masahiro, come on, dude. This shit's getting really ridiculous now, Masahiro, you, you goddamn pirate. He's, this guy's a liability, dude. He's a serious liability. Luckily, it's raining again, so we should just leave him alone. Fred, don't worry too much about it, Fred. It's raining. As long as it doesn't set, set fire inside, we should be okay. All right, Masahiro, do whatever you gotta do, you, you crazy dude. God damn this guy. Pain in the ass, dude. I would replace you if I could, Masahiro, let me tell you right now. You would be replaced instantly. We have visitors. A group from Cooks County are visiting. They seem to have a few items for trade as well. How you guys doing, huh? How you doing there, Garrison? Uh, is it Mr. Garrison from South Park? Could be. Mad Animal Turkey! A local turkey's gone mad. It will attack everyone it sees. Are you gonna attack the... I was hoping you would attack the visitors for me. <laughs> Just kill them. Here comes the Mad Turkey. Hey, guys, check it out. We're gonna have uh, a... I guess an, a very early Thanksgiving? Very early Thanksgiving. Okay, he's gonna attack maybe the visitors. 
Yeah! <laughs> I'd have to take care of it myself. They took care of it for me. Perfect. Masahiro's back to um, reality here again. God damn this guy. Alright, still, it's really um, cold indoors, so this is now off, which is perfect. Exactly how I wanted this to work out. So, that means we need to kind of warm these rooms up even further, huh? Because apparently, 78 Fahrenheit is not enough. So, let's do... Let's bring this bad boy up to 90 for now. And we'll see if that warms it up enough that the outside doesn't really bother it too much here, right? So... Everything's roofed over, correct? Yeah, it's indoors, so... I just want to make sure I'm not missing, like, a spot where the cold's seeping in. Mm. This is where those passive coolers or whatever that I researched probably would come into play. Especially for this room down here, but... I still gotta, like, mess around and see how those work out exactly. So I'm gonna warm it up that way. Ludacris and Rose are, you know, getting down and dirty again. I'm not gonna sing to you guys this time around. I think I did enough damage last time to you. So I'm gonna, you know, just play it a little bit safe for you this time. Um, indoors is 44 still. With no... It's not going up at all, is it? Indoors 43, indoors 44. Then what the fuck is this thing doing? It's a cooler. I mean, I'm aware it's a cooler, but still, it's... it's... Am I wrong here? Should I be... <laughs> uh, am I... am I really an idiot? Like, do I... no. Like, Raises the target temperature, okay? See, now I'm kind of second-guessing myself. Am I thinking, like, does this only thing cool? But, like, you know, a fucking AC, how it works, it, it gives you cooling power on one side, but it gives you warmth on the other side, right? So, I'm cooling the outside, meaning the inside here should get to be getting warm, right? Am I am I wrong about this? Am I, am I just a total idiot? It's gotta be warming shit up, then why isn't it warming stuff up? See, indoors is just going down, if anything, right now. It's turned from the fucking heat side over. Okay, let, let's let's take a wild stab at the dark here, okay? Just because I'm I'm second guessing myself, which is no good. Let's fucking raise the temperature to like 126. I'm gonna make this shit toasty as hell. All right, Masahiro, you want warmth, motherfucker? I'll give you warmth right now. I'm gonna toast your ass, which actually works out quite so because he is a a pyromaniac after all. Oh, I forgot to um, trade with these guys. Rose is too far. I think Garrus is gonna book it before we get to him. Plus, he's playing billiards. Eh, whatever. Whatever. Next time. Next time. Okay. It is 44 degrees inside. 45 in here. It's not warming up any anything at all, man. 46 now. Maybe it takes a while. I don't know. I mean, it, it's fucking a high 47. No, but see, like, the, the room next to it. Oh, see, these rooms are, like, warmer than this one. And this one's getting, like, up to... Okay, fuck this. I don't know. I'm at a loss. I'm at an absolute loss here. As to what's happening with my life. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm just very perturbed, though. That's not much I can tell you. So we're still missing a turret right over here. That's because we're still missing some steel. Okay, I will go back to the temperature here pretty soon. Hold up. This isn't working out. So, first and foremost, let's just bring it back down to, like, 90, like everything else. We'll, we'll work on this here pretty soon. I'll figure it out, believe me. Um, steel, though. We need some more steel. Uh, let's go break down the shells if we can. So, orders... What am I looking for? I'm looking for... Do I have to claim it first, maybe? Must designate abandoned artificial structures. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I did. Uh, cut, tame, uninstall, open, deconstruct. Here we go. Okay. So... Do I have to even claim them? No, I don't think I have to claim at all. Just to, just set them up for deconstruction. That should turn into steel. Okay, so that's there. We have some over here. Obviously, we have the fucking car over here. Car, and we have a giant plane here as well. You guys have fun with that? What the hell is this? You guys seem pretty cool. So I'm gonna deconstruct you as well. Okay. There you guys have it. You have a couple of orders to go check out. And I'll try to keep my eyes on more steel here for the future. Do the old looky-loo. Nothing about, nothing about. Okay. Be, watch out with those boomalopes, by the way. <laughs> they could be problems for us. Alright, here goes Lady Gaga. And she is indeed deconstructing. That's giving us some more steel. Okay. That is good. Oh, right. This turkey that um, got wrecked. We should probably haul him in. I, I want to have a Thanksgiving feast. Fred. 
Deconstructing? No, no, don't deconstruct, Fred. Actually, come over here and, um... Well... Yeah, you're gonna butcher that. Perfect. How's our meal situation? Ten... Three, two... Okay, go away! Fred actually got up to the amount required for meals for once. So that's pretty good. Fred, remember, you, you gotta keep cooking, dude. Don't worry about deconstructing stuff. That's the job of other people. You are my cook, man. You are the go-to cook. Did we break down that train, that plane already? Oh my god, I think we did. Holy shit! My god! Just tore down that plane like nothing! Never seen a plane get torn down that fast, but apparently that one did. Very cool. God damn it, little Chris and Rose, you stop it right now. You're making everybody else a little bit uncomfortable here with your noises. Okay, so indoors is still really cold. I... I could do this now, but I think we're almost out of time, so I probably will just look at this off camera. I'll figure it out, believe me. Let me know in the comments if you want how to fix that, but I'll try to figure out between episodes right now, so... Um, in case I don't, do let me know still, but I think I should be fine next episode around. I'll figure something out here. But I do believe we're out of time here. Need warm clothing, yeah. Probably everybody does because of the temperature here. Minor break risk, Fred Durst and Sneffy. So far we've been doing pretty good with the... I mean, other than Fred Durst, you know, butchering of human-like. When is that going to go away, by the way? One day and 13 hours? Okay. Hungry? Yeah, I mean, we're doing pretty good, I'm going to say. The lavish meal helps out a lot. Look at that, a 10. There, that alone, a 10 is actually very, very good. That's the reason why I'm making those meals. Costing me a lot of food, obviously, but still, we have a lot of food coming in. And we should probably start focusing on hunting again. We kind of left the hunting thing out of the equation completely. Very cool. Alright guys, we're going to wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. Um, as well, if you want to let me know something I'm doing wrong, do let me know. I'll try to figure out the water, or not the water thing, but the fire thing. Or the warm thing here over between episodes. Oh, you guys are finally building this over here too, huh? Uh, I guess we were lacking steel altogether, huh? Yeah. I will catch you next time.